The memorial to the victims at the Allen Premium Outlets, where eight people were killed and seven more were wounded. Kennedy Walker joins us now from the mall with our top story at 11. Kennedy. Hey, Karen, it has been a very emotional day as community members watched as the memorial here at the Allen Outlet Mall was taken down. You can see behind me what used to be filled with crosses and flowers and cards, stuffed animals. It is all gone. But one thing's for sure, the memorial may be gone, but no one will ever forget this spot. This is the spot where on Saturday, May 6th, a gunman came and he shot and killed eight people and wounded countless others. Over the last week, hundreds stopped by to pay their respects. They left flowers and cards, or they just sat in silence and reflected on this tragedy. Volunteers tell me that the city will distribute the crosses and cards to the families of those victims, and they're hoping that the healing process can begin. And it's just been a really great community effort. It's been the best of times and the worst of times for my eyesight. The best seeing our community come together and saying, how can I help? The worst seeing our community cry together. And so um, it's a healing, this, this morning is where the healing process begins. And it's definitely going to be a long healing process. You saw that video cruise with the city taking those items, those stuffed animals, those crosses one by one. Those crosses, they sat here for eight days, one day representing each victim of that mass shooting. And on the ninth day, this is when they decided to pick it up. But once again, those volunteers, they wanted everyone to know that just because this memorial is no longer here, that doesn't mean that they will forget about what happened here. So many people lost lost their lives in this tragedy and countless others were affected. So they said that they will never forget and they will continue to honor those lives lost. In Allen, Kennedy Walker, CBS News, Texas.